Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan, and this video is going to be on two different topics, subjects, whatever. Um, one, my natural hair, and two, the current install I have right now. And um, first, I'm going to start off with you know I, you know, you guys know that I had the Vixen Hair Import tear in last week. I got that installed last week, and I already took it out. Like I know I only had it in for like a week, but. The shedding was really annoying to me and I just couldn't deal with the shedding so I decided to take it out. Um, at first the hair was very pretty but I just, I mean I can't deal with all that shedding like there's hair in my bed, hair in the bathroom, just everywhere. So I decided to take it out and I put the Vimage hair in that I had prior to installing the um, Vixen hair and this is the hair right now I have in which is Vimage hair. Um, I have a 16, 20, and 18 in, three bundles, and I have it in that order, and the reason why I put it in that order is because the 20 inch bundle was way looser than the 16, 18, so it was like the 20 inch bundle was like wavy, and then the, um, wait, that's it, the 16, 18 inch bundle was extra wavy, and then the 20 inch bundle was just like hanging there chilling or whatever. So I decided to um, put it the 20 inch in the middle so it kind of like blend in and it will be all like the same length in the end. And yeah, so I think for now on I'm just going to get like 16 and 18 inches because the 20 inch thing, I don't think it's really for me. I like, I think I look better with like hair this length and not all extra long and it's hot outside so yeah. Um, what else? Also, um, after I took my install, I know I told you guys that I was going to do a video or give you guys a clip of my natural hair because I haven't done that since like uh, I think probably like May or something like I haven't done a video of my natural hair since like May so I know I told you guys I was going to do it last time but I definitely forgot to do it and this time I was in a rush to get this hair sewn in um, I had a hair appointment for 7.30 and I got out of class at 6.30 and I had my sewing in still, so right when I got home from class, I had to go home, um, take my sewing out, do whatever, all that stuff. So I didn't have a lot of time whatsoever, so I did do a clip of my natural hair, and it's when after I took it out. So it's in the afro, after I combed it out, after I took out my sewing, and I'm sorry if there's like dandruff or whatever in the video. I don't, I'm not sure. I really haven't watched the video. I just did it, but. Um, yeah, and excuse my face, like, excuse me on the video. Just look at my hair. Don't look at anything else except my hair, okay? Because I look a hot mess. But I just want to show you guys an update clip of my um, natural hair. So here it is. YouTube. Okay, so that was my natural hair, and I just wanted to show you guys that quick little clip of it because I want to show you guys some things. I know I've been telling you guys that I was going to show you my natural hair, so there it was. And for those of you guys that don't know, I did I my last relaxer was May 2009. I did my big chop March 2010. So I've been natural, like completely natural, for about a year and a half now. So yeah, that's my hair. It has grown very, very fast. Um, yeah, and I did a little link check so you guys could you guys saw that also. So 
it has grown really fast and when I cut my hair my hair was like down here and this was March 2009 so when I cut my hair did the big chop March you know March 2010 sorry March 2010 my hair was like this short and I'll leave you guys a link to my big chop video below down there so you guys can look at it if you want to and see the um great growth the great growth that sounds weird the um great growth it has grown <laughs> um over the past year which I, which I think is so amazing like yeah I'm just really happy and I really like my natural hair um also I wear weaves all the time to protect my hair from um damage or whatever um, it helps my hair grow a whole lot. I don't have to mess with it. And it's also convenient since I'm at school. Um, I have a lot of other stuff I have to do. And I don't feel like worrying about my hair right now. So, yeah. So that's really helpful. And uh, I know that heat damage is bad. And I have heat damage on the front of my hair. But I'm okay with that because when I do take my hair out and wet it and wear it curly, it kind of blends in with my hair. And you really can't tell. So... Yeah, I'm okay with that, but I'm trying to use less heat on my hair, so yeah. And speaking of that, um, I'm going to move on to the sewing I have again. Um, this hair, I, it does not really look like this. To uh, help me from stop putting heat on my hair, I use these flexi rods, and I am not a flexi rod specialist or ex expert whatsoever. I suck at using flexi rods. This is actually my first time using flexi rods, like for real, like a full head. I tried it the last week and I only used four, which that's not enough clearly. So I used like 24 of these and I just, my, uh, I just did it, whatever. My friend Jade, she is like a flexi rod master or something and her hair looks so pretty. Um, so yeah. She showed me how to do it, and this was my first attempt at it, and I think I did pretty good for it to be, like, my first time. Um, when I woke up this morning, it was a lot curlier, and it fell, which I liked, but this is it. Um, I'm just going to keep getting better at it. I don't know if I need to use bigger ones or not. I think I'm going to get some bigger ones later today and see how those work. Um, yeah, so it also, regarding to this hair... I highlighted it and I did a video on what color I should highlight it um, chestnut blonde or chestnut brown and a lot of you guys said chestnut blonde so I decided to do chestnut blonde but it really didn't show up that well um, but you can kind of see it but I use this soft sheen Carson if you notice I cannot say s words like I have a lisp or something so when I say s word it's really hard anyway this is soft sheen Carson dark and lovely and this is the honey, I mean not honey, this is the chestnut blonde, and I used this. It's supposed to come out like this color, but it really didn't. But that's okay though. Um, I used two boxes of this, and this was like $4 at Walmart. But I'll get close so you guys can kind of see it, I think. And if you can't see it, I'll just post a picture so you guys can. But um, this is it. You guys can see. And I like it. I mean, they're not really, the highlights aren't really that bright, but I kind of like it because I didn't want anything too bright. I'm a real big fan of dark hair, and I just wanted a little change, something different, so I just put some highlights of that color in it, and it didn't get as bright, but it's okay. Um, I kind of like it because it kind of like blends in, it's kind of subtle, so, and when you're out on the side, you can see it really well, so that's what I like about it. And I highlighted it myself. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that was my first time ever highlighting, too. So, I did a lot of first-time things this time. Flexi rods and highlighting. The first things i ever done in my life. And I thought I was going to screw up, but I really didn't. So, yeah. Um, I guess, like, I'll do a tutorial or try to or something next time I highlight some weave. I don't know. But I like it. I know you probably can't see it right now, but you can see it in the light and it's pretty. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I showed you my natural hair and I was talking about this hair. And this hair is great, by the way. 
the um, Vimage hair. Um, yeah, I highlighted it and everything, and it, it actually felt better after I highlighted it. And it's still very soft, and it's nice and bouncy, and just, it's beautiful. I just love it. And it isn't shedding like crazy either. And if there's like pieces of my hair sticking out on the side, sorry, it's really annoying. I have to get those trimmed or I need to fix my bang actually. So yeah. And I love my side bang, by the way. <gasps> I love side bangs. But yeah, this hair is so pretty. And I don't really have any problems with it. Um, so yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys those two things. And speaking in, and also another thing, um, a lot of you guys ask me, do I change my hair every week? And no, I don't change my hair every week. Um, I know I have been changing my hair a lot recently, like ever since the summer. And that's because one thing, like the first, when I, for, the summer first started or in the middle of the summertime, um, I got that virgin, virgin Brazilian hair from some vendor from AliExpress, which was horrible. The hair was like horrible. You guys saw that. So I had to take that out. Cause it was just, it was horrific. Okay. And then also, um, after that, what hair did I get? Oh yeah. After that, I got the TJ hair and I had that in for like a month and I took that out and I got new hair because school is starting. So of course you want new hair usually when school starts. I mean, I do. So I got new hair, which was this hair. Um, when school started, I got this. And then I got the Vixen hair. So really, I haven't really changed my hair that much as it might seem. But I plan on keeping this in for like two, mo two or three months because I'm really tired of switching hair. Like, it gets tiring, actually. And then I, I don't know how to do sawbones or anything, so my friend has to do it. And I just wish I knew how to do that. I can't even cornrow. Like, I can't do anything with hair. So, yeah. Um, so, for you guys that want to know, do I change my hair every week? No, you guys will be seeing this hair for a while. Because I'm not taking it out. Um, yeah. But I might order some more of this hair. I might order another 16 or 18. But that's about it. I'm still keeping the same hair. So, yeah. Um... So that's about it if you guys have any questions or comments about my natural hair or whatever let me know and yeah I hope you guys are proud of me for not using heat on my hair that much anymore and using flexi rides oh here's the top of my hair by the way oh yeah in this install if you guys wanted to know um, she did a, the braiding pattern was a beehive so she just went around and I have my hair the hair left out is I have this much hair on this side and then on the other side I have more left out which is like all this so all that hair is left out on that side and, and oh, another thing I'm sorry this video is just like rambling on and on but another thing you guys um, want to know how I get my hair so straight and I guess like sleek like this, but I really don't do anything. All I do is flat iron it. Like I showed you the products I use, but even if I didn't use those products, my hair, it comes out like this. I just use the products to like keep it moisturized and keep it from frizzing. But otherwise it's just like this. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Questions, comments, let me know. And I'll see you next time.